<laughs> Hello and welcome to another episode of With Enough Prep Time. I'm your host, The Nerd Man, and today we're talking about uh, uh, Zack Snyder possibly directing Wonder Woman 3. Yeah, you heard it. Um, <laughs> now, what do I think of this? So let me explain the news. Um, I'm coming on very, very quickly because um, I, I just did two videos. Um, both of them went pretty well. I was actually talking about Wonder Woman earlier, funnily enough, um, for, uh, I was talking about Wonder Woman Earth 1 Volume 3. I've got a review of that. It's a comic book, just came out. It's pretty good, so uh, you can check out my review. But, dude, it, like, Zack Snyder is becoming, like, COVID-21, you know? <laughs> like, uh, there's COVID-19, he's COVID-21. He's, like, the virus within the DCEU uh, that just keeps spreading, no matter how much uh, one tries to steer him into a direction that would be more into his lane, like, you know, hey, the question, uh, you know, the character, the question, or maybe a Green Lantern movie would be much more up his alley, but no. He wants to go, oh, sorry, no, the latest thing by um, one of uh, the Snyder, uh, I, uh, I'm trying to stop calling them Snyder cult, but uh, Snyder fan base, um, Grace Randolph, is that she sent out a tweet saying she just watched the Snyder Cup, and good news, um, she enjoyed it, uh, which I, I, I think great, like hopefully I still have high hopes for the Snyder Cup. Um, but, uh, she's just watched it, um, and, uh, she said she enjoyed it, and she's heard that, um, people that, who've seen it at Warner Brothers want Zack Snyder to direct Wonder Woman 3. Okay. Now, I can't think of a worse possible director I would rather he's so bad I mean to be fair I don't trust uh, Patty Jenkins with Wonder Woman anymore either um her or Zack Snyder it would be pretty fucking bad but talk about the wrong sensibility have we not learned already from um, Man of Steel. Now, let me be fair about all of this. I think it's complete and utter bullshit. I think that I, I do think that um, uh, the 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 Warner Brothers um, as a as a company is a very incestuous company, and it doesn't like to look for new talent or new directors who can um, come in and take on certain properties like Wonder Woman and Superman. They always want to work with people they've already worked with, which I think is the reason why the DC is so fucked up. They can't go out and find new talent, find new people who can uh, do these characters justice and people whose films fit the sensibility of the particular character, right? Um, Gareth Evans, for instance, would, should have been on a on something like a Batman movie by now, or something like that, or a, you know, um, or, or you know, something something that Gareth Evans who did um, it's a Korean movie, um, uh, that that's a big martial arts movie. It's really great, anyway, um, and he could have done something you know there's there's directors you can get who could actually do these films and do these characters really justice and i think the last person you want for wonder woman film the absolute last person is Zack snyder and uh, honestly uh, until patty jenkins proves her, proves herself again with this star wars movie i think we should veer away from her as well um, I think that property should be given to somebody who would be willing to do the research and actually uh, go out and read some Wonder Woman comics and maybe adapt some of her best material if they don't have a better idea for the film themselves. But anyway, going back to Zack Snyder um, with this, as I said, I don't believe that Warner Brothers is actually, maybe they've seen it and thought, oh wow, the action in Wonder Woman, in, in of Wonder Woman in the Justice League movie is pretty good. And to be fair to Zack Snyder right now on this, I will say this about him. 
his um his Wonder Woman um in, in you know both in Batman v Superman and in uh Justice League uh sorry in Batman v Superman first of all was very very good and I liked the way he depicted Wonder Woman and of all the people you know in the um, Justice League uh, part two and three plan that he had in terms of all the characters that I thought you know wow uh, Zack Snyder really doesn't understand Superman he's really doing funny things with Batman and Lois Lane and all of that I thought his his treatment of where he wanted Wonder Woman to go and what the the figure that he wanted her to become in the DC universe in terms of, you know, um, being the ambassador of peace and leading man to prosperity and all of that kind of thing actually fits in a lot with her mythology. So he, he understands it on a very, very surface level, at least, what Wonder Woman is about. But nonetheless, no. Uh, I would love him to be, you know, uh, somebody who is one of the voices who can, uh, you know, like if they bring on a new creative team, like talk to them about the action, talk to them about his plans or what he wanted Wonder Woman to be. But that's as far as it goes. Zack Snyder cannot do aspirational heroes. Wonder Woman is an, a classic aspirational hero. She has a different journey from an anti-hero like Batman or, you know, the question or um, heroes who are more, um, you know, like uh, uh, that, that, that are more like frontiers men, like, you know, like um, like Green Lantern, who are who's like a cowboy in space kind of thing. These are these these are characters that aren't necessarily perfect characters. They're characters that are still morally growing and um you know, aren't some, somebody that you look up to necessarily, but characters that you relate to uh, and you understand where they're coming from. Um, uh, Wonder Woman is, and Superman specifically, for the DC universe are the aspirational heroes. They are heroes that are supposed to not just inspire, but like um, th th they're, they're people who, uh, or characters who, Morally speaking, in terms of their heroism, they see the world in this black and white way. They see they have this one morality about like that that is ultimately good. Uh, that is about you know always do the right thing, never compromise. You know um, they can't be you know morally gray in any way, and that is those that is the kind of characters they are. So you know, trying to make them morally gray like, um, you know, Zack Snyder did to Superman, it, 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 it means the character isn't really that character. The character becomes something wholly different from w what it's supposed to be or what, what they are supposed to be. Um, it goes against the essence, the core of the character, and I don't want him doing that to Wonder Woman. He already did that a bit to Wonder Woman by making her... Uh, you know, say like for a hundred years, um, she, uh, you know, she she turned her back on humanity. The Wonder Woman from the comics would never do that. She is an aspirational hero. She is a hero you look up to. She's much like Superman. She's supposed to inspire, um, a lead by example, right? Uh, she doesn't compromise, you know, sometimes she might be wrong, the way she looks at the world, it's black and white. Like it's a black and white morality. She believes there is right and wrong and you always must do the, the right things in terms of heroism. Sometimes that can lead her to be naive, that can lead her to, um, you know, uh, be easily, you know, like not easily tricked, but like, um, you know, uh, that, that, that she can be manipulated or something like that because of that, you know, that 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 unwavering belief in wrong or right. For instance, you know, in her worldview, killing uh, uh, somebody who is, uh, you know, who won't heed to, it, it, like a villain who's basically, 
you know, say like, so there's, there's a villain killing loads of people, she'll kill that put a villain. In her in her worldview, that is right. In Superman's worldview, that is wrong. Right. So that's that's a major difference between Superman and Wonder Woman. But that's part of her absolute morality. She'll be like, yeah, it, 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 if somebody is killing loads of people and they you can't reason with them, that's it. They have to go. Superman will always try and find um, another way. But that's the difference. But they still have absolute moralities, black and white. They see the world in black and white and they will always follow um, their heart. Uh, and and you know and same with Captain America, Captain America, Wonder Woman, Superman—they're very similar types of characters in this sense. But anyway, Zack Snyder has shown that he cannot handle those characters. I don't want him anywhere near Wonder Woman. I know that he's going to probably read something like the New Fifty Two and think, "Oh my God, yeah, let's adapt New Fifty Two and make that a thing." And then what will happen is there's going to be a bunch of Wonder Woman fans who fucking hate it, and then there'll be a bunch of new guys who go, "Oh, it was so much better than Wonder Woman eighty four, though," and blah blah blah. And what, let's carry on that universe, and it will divide Wonder Woman fans. That's what's going to happen because the action is going to look cool. It's going to look slick. It's going to look, you know, Zack Snydery. But people, there'll be a lot of people, a big contingency of people who don't like it. At least with Wonder Woman, everyone can universally say, yeah, we like that movie. And Wonder Woman 84, almost universally, you can say, we fucking hate that movie. It's one voice. No, you know, there's no uh, compromise. It's like, okay, everyone hates Wonder Woman 84. Everyone likes Wonder Woman. So the best thing is to continue on like how we were doing with Wonder, Wonder Woman 1, but like make it bigger. That's that's the message that D, DC Warner Brothers has to get. To go and, 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 and try a third route and then maybe do some new 52 bullshit um, route with Wonder Woman that I know Zack Snyder will do, making her like a dark, gothic, uh, you know, or, or, you know, someone who's walking around with severed heads and all of that, like, you know, more warrior than princess, that's where you're going to split audiences. You're going to divide an audience and people are going to get pissed off uh, and and it, it, it's going to lead to the same thing that's happening with Justice League, that's happening with, um, that, that's happened with Superman. And I don't want that for Wonder Woman. I don't want that kind of headache. So as much as I don't believe it, I think it's bullshit. I think what Grace Randolph um, has said in her tweet uh, from Beyond the Trailer is bullshit. Um, I, I And I do like Grace Randolph. I have no problem with her. I think she's pretty entertaining all in all. But I do think she's part of like a... a, 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 a she's a Snyder zealot, basically. Um, and, you know, that's fine. They're having their moment right now. Justice League is coming out. Hopefully it's good. I think it's going to be good. I've got high hopes for it. But no, Zack Snyder, he does not get to take over the DC universe if this is successful. I'm sorry. He failed in Man of Steel, BVS, created the situation where he had to be fired. And quite frankly, they should have done it before um, he started ever shooting Justice League. But then um, now it's got to a situation where yeah, okay, everyone feels sorry for him, you know, what happened to his daughter, I feel bad for him and everything, and that he's got a, a huge well of uh, support and, you know, whatever, but he does not, he's divisive. That's the biggest problem. If everyone universally hated his movies or everyone universally liked them, it would be okay. But when you split audiences the way Zack Snyder does, that creates an inner civil war in a, any fan base, and it's a problem. And it means that the DC universe will always be on shaky ground as long as he is the architect or has to deal with characters that don't suit him. Wonder Woman, Superman, don't suit Zack Snyder. Don't do it. It's like giving Zack Snyder Captain America. Wouldn't suit him. He'd try and make him into, you know, some weird thing. OK, get him on characters that make Deathstroke. Do do a Deathstroke movie, Zack Snyder, you know, do something like that. As for um, the Zack Snyder verse continuing, which I've heard about as well, 
I'm absolutely uh, fine if it's on HBO Max. As long as he isn't the architect of the universe, he can direct solo movies of characters that suit him. Absolutely fine. But no, 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 absolutely zero tolerance to him becoming the architect of the DCE universe. This is a virus that needs to be fucking vaccinated and stopped. The Snyder, this whole idea of it creating a Snyder verse, absolutely zero no. If he has, if he gets to make some movies, make it in a pocket universe, if it's going to be like a Justice League big movies. But really, you need mainstream Justice League to be sorted out by somebody else. Really. You don't need more Snyder Justice League verse. And especially, he got huge studio notes. This is not Snyder's vision that is coming out on March 18th. That's what you don't have to, you guys have to realize. It's not Snyder's full vision. Snyder's vision is not what this is. This is something else. It's a, it's a mix between the studio compromises. Zack Snyder made compromise with, with them, made it more humorous, made it. So that's what we're going to be getting on the um, 18th, right? So let Snyder do some individual solo projects, Deathstroke, something that fits him, something that really, for, let him do a villain movie. Let him do, yeah, like a villain movie would be great. You know, um, uh, Mr. Freeze or something like that, but not anything to do with Superman or Wonder Woman's universe and not to do with the Justice League. I'm sorry. Maybe an animated Justice League film, fine, where he gets to finish his vision as an animated movie on HBO Max. But in terms of the films, let him adapt graphic novels, do something that suits him, but not be the architect of a whole fucking universe. Let's get some new talent in, inject the DC with fresh ideas, hopefully not too woke. And that's me. I'll see you on the flip side. Comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. Do you want Zack Snyder directing the next Wonder Woman movie? Um, and yeah, see you on the flip side. I love you 3000.